Andrew Willis, and I'm from Woodward, Oklahoma. My great uncle, uh, Dr. Ron Guthrie, will hood me at uh, graduation. And to me, that that's a sense of nostalgia, I guess, in the sense that uh, 50 years ago, he received a degree that provided a livelihood for him and his family. And, um, a knowledge base that allowed him to help many patients over the years and I hope to do the same thing. I think I decided I wanted to become a veterinarian um, early on. I, I don't know if it was anything specific, but uh, sometime around the time I was uh, 14 years old I started working on a ranch uh, over a summer and got really interested in animals and helping animals and, and things just kind of progressed from there. Well I was born and raised in Oklahoma and so Oklahoma is a special place to me but um, additionally, it's, it's cost effective, close to home, close to relatives, and I've had many relatives who have gone to school here and it's provided a very good education for them. I don't know if I could pinpoint any one specific event in veterinary college, but I think um, since I'm an equine oriented person, I think uh, my equine rotations and, and my externships that I did uh, were pretty special to me. I, I felt like uh, it provided a lot of skills and knowledge that I can utilize later in life. If someone's considering a degree in veterinary medicine, I think my biggest piece of advice would be to um, just be committed wholeheartedly um, from the beginning. All the information that you're gonna that you're gonna get in undergrad and in vet school is all those pieces will come together in a great puzzle to help your patients. So uh, just try and be committed to learning that information and retaining it. Following graduation on uh, June 1st, 2016, I will be starting uh, an equine internship at Weatherford Equine Medical Center in Weatherford, Texas.